I will say, Jim, there is a popular topic that a lot of people are talking about this morning. And this is one of those casualties of you and I both completely dismissing Raw and never watching it. We have to play catch up now. <laughs> but apparently there was a match, and I'm just seeing clips of it now. Charlotte Flair versus Nia Jax. I believe Charlotte was the women's champion coming out of the pay-per-view we reviewed. And without knowing too much about it and haven't really watched it too much, people were sending in comments thinking it was a shoot. Have you seen this at all? Well, no, here's what we're, what we're going to do, because my Twitter was inundated when I got up this morning with people, Charlotte and Nia Jax shoot fight on Raw or shoot question mark or the word shoot was being bandied about. And the, the clips that I'm not going to go into too much detail at the head of this thing because we're going to dissect this in intricate detail, but the clips that I saw, I'm fucking dying because no, no, they didn't have a shoot. What they had was an old-fashioned four-finger stinker. And it's just, it's that I guess a lot of people have romanticized the idea of shooting. And we've talked about this before, but we got so many new listeners. Shooting, or is it, did it turn into a shoot, or I'm shooting when I'm telling the truth, or they don't know that there are degrees of shoot or friendly shoots or stages or or just lack of cooperation or just lack of coordination or just a, a, there are a number of stages of something breaking down without it being a shoot. But the, from the clips that I saw, I don't know that that many have ever happened in the same match or not <laughs> This I've said this before. Nia Jax is the plowboy Frazier of women pro wrestlers. There was a, there was only one plowboy was around for years and years, and he made some money in places or drew some money play. He had spot in the WWF, but I only saw him have good matches with one human being ever in the history of wrestling, and that was Lawler, because he was the magician and he had the key to unlock every door. But otherwise. Uh, short of them booking her against Jerry Lawler, which I'm sure the King would probably refuse that particular assignment. I, I don't know. I, I can't explain how she has managed to persevere this long on that roster when other people have come and gone and been asked to leave. Can you? Who's her cousin? Well, I at some point. Fuck, didn't... We had... We had a few fucking ancillary members of the Samoan family, I think, at one time or another in, in various training programs, and they didn't all make it. But uh, And that's before any of them started making big motion pictures. Well, that's true. And she's not just a member of the Samoan family. It's Dwayne Johnson. Well, that's true. Oh, sweet God. I mean, at this point, should the rock stage an intervention, Nia... <laughs> whatever the uso us cuz whatever <laughs> you know they just signed another fatu that. did you see that well i mean there's a there's a bunch of fatus that are a lot better workers than nia Jax. so i'm not against signing a fatu no i'm just saying they didn't sign jacob fatu it was a different i'm just the one guy out there but anyway i'm not I, gonna go, they, go right, well we're, we're gonna be going in a different direction but i asked you and the re I saw a clip, uh, two clips, a shorter one and a longer one on Twitter, and you got a clip of this match because I, I hipped you to it, or pipped you to it, or peeped you to it, or how do the kids say it? You I told to you it. about it. Or that, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and so we neither one have seen this thing in its entirety, but we thought for the people... It might be an idea if we watched this and reacted in live real time to seeing the entire thing in context developing in full. Because as as I mentioned before, I think it it's only natural to bring up a classic Ghost of Mr. Chicken quote, the horribleness and awfulness of this may never be forgotten. Well, it may not be forgotten because I was shocked to see, you know, People started sending me images, but I hadn't watched it. I didn't realize it would be 12 minutes. How does it go for that long? Jeez. Well, no, well, this, this got to be entrances too, right? So 
I don't know. Well, we're, we're going to find out on this thing because if it could be even more rotten than we imagine, but we're going to, we're going to talk about the rottenness of it. And then we're going to, as, as we watch it unfold in front of our eyes, I've got my bleach right here standing by in the bottle. And then we're also afterwards, we're going to talk about the implications possibly of this and, or why the fuck would they do this? That type of thing. We're going to flesh it out with panel discussion with you and me after we watch this thing, right? Right. The same panel that's been here for the entire uh, yes. run of yeah. the show. Yes. We're going we're to have a panel discussion, you and me. Okay. If the other people on the panel just shut up, <laughs> we'll have a real nice discussion between ourselves. You know, that's what we ought to do sometime. We ought to just announce we've got a panel show and every top of every show I introduce you and you introduce me and then we both introduce two or three other guests, but they're not there. And then we just do the show and nobody else ever speaks. Can we advertise that, you know, this week's panel includes you know, Jim Cornette, Barack Obama, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. <laughs> well, what if, no, we could just do it like prospective guests, Barack Obama, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Charles Manson, whatever the fact, then introduce them but they just don't have anything to add to the to the conversation and they never speak it's something we might get back to with what if you take one celebrity who doesn't like wrestling and you put him with one random wrestler that you pick well but then we've actually got to do it that is a good show actually well yeah but i'm just trying to jack off here now all right are we going to get back to this uh nia jackson charlotte obama nathan well i can tell you i won't be jacking off to this match <laughs> Even if you're in San Diego. Even if I'm in San Diego, but we have this, and again, we you don't want to watch the three minute version. You want to watch this whole no, thing. No, we gotta watch this whole thing in context and see really? what's going on here, and so we can report to the people. And and now we're folks, we're not encouraging you to watch this. We're just gonna give you our impressions from seeing this together, Brian and I, for the very first time. Uh you don't need to seek it out. We'll probably give you a good idea. But if you want it by our description, you want to watch it. It was on Raw on August the tw the 30th. The 30th, yes. A day that will live in infamy. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to do it, we have a link here that is approximately 12 minutes. We're going to, not a traditional watch along. We're actually watching it for the first time in real time. Yes. And we don't care whether anybody syncs this up or not, because it's not worth that, but it might be worth a tickle. Well, Jim, as we said before, we have this entire video here, apparently 12 minutes. We have it queued up so we can watch. And, and this is 12 minutes from the opening bell, too, now we have confirmed. So this could be interesting. This certainly could be, and we're going to uh, press play. Of course, this is not the traditional watch along. You can... Find it, you can do it, whatever you want. Just imagine it in your minds, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. But Jim, if you're ready, let's press play on three, and then I'll say press play now, and then you press I play. I know, I remember how you, <laughs> damn it, just fucking just do it. One, two, three, press play now. Boom. All right, and Nia Jax charges at Charlotte. Charlotte bails to the floor and gives her a whoo. Nothing out of the way so far. No, it looks like a traditional beginning of a wrestling match. Charlotte I'm, I'm, acting like a heel. I'm wondering if maybe they've made some kind of agreement. They're going to try out their Brazilian jiu-jitsu tactics. No, Nia runs for her again. Charlotte bails out again. I don't know what Nia was grabbing for there. Well, she was trying to grab and hold up at the same time. and she, I, We have not seen a lot of manual dexterity in the past from Miss Jax. No, manual dexterity is not frequently spoken of when and right now in that outfit that's mostly black leather she's got lightning bugs circling around her she's so big now there is a little bit of mouthing off i mean we don't know what they're saying it could be just well, working no but. they're 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 it's so this is a match they're trying ah there's a lockup they're trash talking and a lockup and charlotte's trying but obviously nia jack's standing her ground because she's as big as a refrigerator and now she backs charlotte to the ropes nice lock up Continuing the lockup, <laughs> apparently somebody was trying to say something that somebody wasn't hearing. Charlotte just yanked her hair, and she swatted at Charlotte. Are they uh, a shoulder tackle that doesn't work, 
and some mean faces and trash talking. Try again with a shoulder. Ah, but Charlotte goes the kick to the leg. She's going to work the leg because she's a flare. Charlotte hooks her for what looks like a vertical suplex, but obviously that's not going to work. I would imagine Nia Jax would reverse that. They're both jockeying for position, and they're both hammering each other in the midsection. Charlotte spins out, and Nia Jax gives her a headbutt. So far, this is one of those bowling shoe matches. Are they potentially working that there's no cooperation? What do you think, Brian? I think that is certainly potentially what's happening here. It doesn't look like an outright shoot. I've seen a couple times where well, yeah, no, very quickly is... in the ring it's turned into one. This doesn't look like it so far. We're we're trying to figure out whether this is the match that they've planned in the back and they're disagreeing on what came next at one point. And there's a big splash in the corner by Nia 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 or Nia? Nia. I never remember. Nia Jax. And now she's oh. wiggling and slapping her butt. I guess that's a... Th oh, she's going to boom! Run into the corner, but Charlotte slips out and gives her the boots to the stomach that she's covering up for. Cause, but not covering up like the real, covering up like she doesn't know how to work. She doesn't know how to sell either. Look at that. Um, yeah, and Charlotte's got a headlock, and Charlotte is, is trying to go down to a knee and ground her because it looks like that they need a conference. And she's jerking Nia Jax into position so that some information can be imparted one way or the other. It looks like Charlotte's trying to impart it. Nia Jax tries to shoot her off. Charlotte holds onto the headlock. Perhaps they haven't agreed on the last phases of the spot yet. So now Nia Jax is going to shoot her off again. And now she goes and a tackle and Charlotte goes down, sells her head. So it took Nia Jax that long to get one tackle. <clears throat> oh, my God. Now I see why it was 12 minutes. And, and you know, now Nia Jax hammers her and shoves her around. is getting some heat on her and wants her to go down, apparently, face first. But I don't know what that movement was. It's just... It's like Nia Jax is trying to throw people around, but she doesn't know how to grab them and let them go. She shoves them in a direction that they don't know what the fuck's going on. Charlotte fighting back with back elbows. Nia misses the rush in the corner. And Charlotte tries to shoot her off and is supposed to get reversed, and Nia picks it up on it finally, so Charlotte can do her upside down, block a thing, grab Nia while she's standing over the ropes and bend Nia Jax back over the ropes in a reverse front face lock. That looks pretty cool. That is cool. This is the match they've called. It's just Charlotte apparently is having to call it again as they go. And at, like on that reversal, she had to start reversing herself before Jax picked up on it. But now Charlotte's getting some fucking heat on. Is Nia Jax supposed to be a baby face? That's what I was thinking before when I said Charlotte's the heel. She's acting like a heel at the beginning. Does that mean Nia's the baby face? I assume, although watching this on mute, she's certainly not acting like a baby face. <clears throat> well, and, and also she's twice as big. Charlotte jumps up on Nia Jax's back and gets a chin lock on her. And she's giving her the shoulder ride. So I guess Nia Jax can mare her over as she just did. So Charlotte fed her that. This is just an ugly fucking match. This is not. Uh, this is a and, oh and Nia Jax just gave her a spine buster that she didn't really want to take. That was the worst spine buster uh, ever. Well, yeah, that she put her foot down before and now Charlotte's rolled out because she didn't. I don't. Yeah, I let's mean, replay that. Why'd you replay yeah. that spine buster? Jesus. But I got to admit, you know, having a match and now Charlotte's bailed out on the floor and she's walking around and she's taking her time and I see why. Having a match with somebody like this is trying to do wrestling moves to a couch. They're so big, you can't do anything with them if they're not fluid enough to go with it or to... They, oh, now, Charlotte pulled the rope down, kind of, so Nia Jax could go out through the ropes. Charlotte dives over the top, cross body, on 10, Nia Jax goes down. Maybe they've they've captured a bit of it here. Now, that's not so bad. And And they went to a break. <laughs> and just so you know, this is Oklahoma City. Oh, boy. Uh, and the people are sitting on their hands. They went to a break. Oh, my God. 
when they came back, they went to the break on the only good move I've seen, the crossbody over the top. When they come back, Nia Jax just picked Charlotte up. Instead of a belly-to-back suplex, she just picked her up and dropped her backwards, which was reckless, but I don't know if she knows how to do it any other way. And Nia Jax with uh, kind of shitty forearms, and she's smiling, and she charges, and Charlotte moves Nia Jax's shoulder into the post. And she, like a harpooned whale, blubbers back into the ring. Once again, working. They're, they're yeah, working they're, the whole time. They're working just not well. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> Nia Jax is not working very well, and, and neither one of them is working very well with each other. Charlotte's trying. Uh, Charlotte is climbing up. She, is she going to go for a moonsault? She's on the top rope. And she moonsaults, and Nia Jax barely got knees up, so Charlotte sold it because it was kind of close. And Nia Jax, oh, my God, picked her up and gave her the sloppiest Samoan drop right on her left shoulder that I've ever seen. And Nia Jax goes for the big leg drop, and Charlotte, thank God, gets out of the way at a big boot to the face, which was safe. And she was trying to go for a cover, but Nia Jax beat her to her feet. And she was trying to tell her something. I said, oh, fuck it. And just stood up and smacked her in the face. And Naya says, you smacked me in the face? And now they're pissed. <laughs> and Naya grabs Charlotte's hair and Charlotte bows up at her. And she's like, okay, are we going to fucking do this now? And boom. And now they're goddamn, no, they're not fighting, but they're just pissed at each other. And now they're fighting. Naya, it's not a hardcore fight, but they're fighting for a moment. Yeah, they're 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 pissed. Nia went for the fucking to pick her up for the deal, but Charlotte didn't want to go. So then Charlotte hit the ropes and went up for her own fucking. She's trying to get on Nia's shoulders, and Nia don't know how to fucking get her back, and they don't know what the fuck they are doing. It's all falling apart now, and now it's completely falling. If this makes. Charlotte Flair's dad and JYD looked like Charlotte Flair's dad and Steamboat. And Charlotte went for a cover and Nia Jax kicked out because now they've realized they've, they've lost control of this whole match. They got pissed off and smacked each other a couple times to wake each other up, supposedly, because I'm sure Nia Jax doesn't believe she's to blame. And now they're going back to the match, which already sucks, and they've still got to fucking get this finish in, whatever it may be. And now they're just mulling all that over in their heads because they haven't touched in 45 seconds. And now they get back up. And Charlotte goes for the chop block because Nia was standing there waiting on it. And now Charlotte's trying to work on the fucking leg doing the... the, the God damn, it's like doing wrestling moves to a fucking waterbed. And so Charlotte tries the ground and pound. <clears throat> and... She's she just half-heartedly kicks the leg. She's like, what else can I do to this fucking giant tree trunk leg on this immobile fucking opponent that has already fucked this fucking thing up royally? She's right now trying to remember Tony Khan's phone number. Yes, and now she and she yanked the leg and she shoves the Nia Jax in the back of the head a couple times. And now she wiggles her butt and slaps her butt like Nia was doing earlier. Nia Nia. Oh, but she goes for the figure four step over. She gets kicked off. Charlotte does into the buckle. And now Nia Jax is up and kind of limping on the leg that they've been working on. And the referee just touched his fucking uh, hip, which is where his IFB control is. And he said, okay, you guys can go anytime. And the fans and haven't I'm, moved. And the fans are encased. And what did that, that, what did they encase the villains in when they sent them to the Phantom Zone? In uh, so, and Nia Jax, boom, picks her up, kind of a half Ooh. joke slam. Oh, my God. And pinned her. It was like a half choke slam, half power bomb. And Nia Jax pinned Charlotte one, two, three, and got up and walked off. And she knows that she just laid a turd on national television. And Charlotte's still laying there because she wants to be dead. She is probably dying of mortified embarrassment. And now they replay the kickoff into the turnbuckle. And they replay the half power bomb, half choke slam that she just smacked her with. That's 
that may have been what she was trying to go for before and it wasn't time yet and Charlotte was trying to get out of it or something. I don't fucking know. That's the worst match I've ever seen. Poor Charlotte. It was, twice as, it was twice as long as Linda Miles' match on OVW television and this was on national TV. And none of this is Charlotte's fault. You can't watch this and oh say any God. of this is Charlotte's fault. What the fuck? Was the thought, if that had gone according to plan, what the fuck the thought was of that finish? All right, we've seen it all now. And I'm, I mean, literally. <clears throat> oh, let me get the taste out of my mouth on that. Holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> 